What's up guys? We're out in town shopping the other day and my missus bought me this cute little, uh, I think it was 40 bucks, little drone. It runs a little 700 milliamp hour lipo in the bottom of it under there. I'm not going to move it now because right now what we've got to do is we've got to fix it. It went flat and started losing power when I had it probably 35, 40 metres up in the air. It was dark and uh, I wanted to see if you could see it travelling along and um, it was uh, out near my other workshop and kind of had a bit of a sheltered area, a couple, couple of hills around, there was no wind, it was good. Got it up nice and high but then because it was dark I couldn't see it coming down quite so quickly if that makes sense, like it was just running out of power. As the power level dropped off it fell out of the sky essentially. Props were still spinning but not spinning fast enough to hold it up and uh, this little fella here had a really bad time because of it. But we got some 406 Loctite which is good for difficult to bonds which is most plastics without a primer. So what we're going to do is we're going to fix her up on a Loctite and let it dry. It should dry pretty quick, it's instant adhesive. Um, but then what we're going to do is modify battery holding capability. I've got a, I think it's got a 650 milliamp hour LiPo in the bottom of it now. I've got a 2800 LiPo out of a laptop battery which we're going to have a go at. So uh, I'll glue this up now and we'll get stuck into that. Alright guys, so part two of our drawing upgrade video. Um, got these nice little Panasonic 2800 mAh LiPos out of a laptop battery the other week. And we're going to uh, we're gonna replace this little 650 mAh little unit that came in the drone itself. Go ahead and just connect that little 8 cent lipo. Looks good, the wire is actually decent quality and it strips alright. Soldering iron's heating up as we speak so we can go ahead and get these tinted off. I just need to check the polarity again on this because I've forgotten. Any digital multimeter, will, no, any multimeter will tell you that pretty quick. I think this center is negative. And it is. So we've got uh, 3.96 volts in this one at the moment. There's a terminal on each end so you can piggyback them together but we're not going to need that so we're just going to actually run from the internal terminal here to this terminal there just like that so we'll sit that there solder iron should be hot already there it is A couple of wires tinned up. Yeah, I know the uh, soldering iron is way overkill for this job, but uh, I just got it and wanted to use it. It's an 80 watt, 80 watt one. So it's got more than enough grunt for this job. We've got a pretty good blob on that um, nickel strip there. And that one there. I've got my uh, fume extractor on, but it's only just down low, so that's uh, it's not so noisy in the video. It drives me crazy when it's up high. I normally only have it up high when I'm doing lots of uh, lots of soldering at once.
Excellent. Mm -hmm. Let's disconnect that solder, you know? Okay, so we've got mm -hmm. your battery lit up, hooked up there. Let's plug it into the drone, just make sure the drone powers on with this new battery. And it does. So turn it back off again. Pull the cell out. Mm. And uh, ooh, see if I can open this. Damn. I think I'm going to be able to open it. Alright, well, I can't get the lid off my uh, liquid electrical tape. So it's uh, not going to happen. Right, there's a little beast of a lipo. Uh, let's get it in the bottom of this quadricopter. It cools down pretty quick. And um, find a way of fixing it. We simply plug in. There, nice and firm. We just need a way of making it sit there. You know what, I might just go and use a few blobs of uh, the Loctite super glue. Hang on a sec. Alright, we've got some Loctite 406. Same gear that we used to uh, repair this before. Trying to hold it pretty central to the battery compartment just so it's nice and well, so it tries to stay level as we can. Obviously, without some kind of precision four way scales, I'm not going to be able to do it perfect. No, it's still going to stand up on me. Need something to sit on that so I don't have to hold it. Let those two points settle and uh Try a third point so that it's well, well and truly on there. There we go, we've got her uh, mounted on the board. Tucked away under there nicely. Let's see if it's ready to fly. Side for a bell. Landed in the tree, but it flies no worries. It's a bit on the windy side out here. So, uh, once a bit silly, we'll have another go. It flies beautiful, though. Thanks for watching YouTube. She's off the ground.